Hi guys, in uh, this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install Compass already on Windows. It's a short tutorial, so uh, you should have Compass uh, running on your machine literally within I know, a few minutes. So first thing we do, we go to Compass 3D um, installation directory, uh, I mean the Compass 3D web page, which is compass3d.org. On the left hand side in the download section, we click source and binaries, which gets us to the download page where you can select which uh, platform you want binaries for. In our case, we want binaries for Windows. So we click uh, go to Windows section and we click the download link, which gets us to a SourceForge repository where we store actually our binaries. There is only one package in the uh, in the SourceForge folder, so we click it, and then after you click it and wait five seconds, the download will begin. I already downloaded this package just to save time and not waste your time uh, uh, watching, letting you watch uh, the download progress. So uh, my Compiso 3D package is already in the download folder, so I'm gonna open it. Click yes when you get this pop up about uh, installation warning that it's the package from internet. Sure, you trust the provider, it's us, so you click yes. The wizard pops up, you click next button, which gets you to the uh, page where you can specify destination folder. I think. The best and the safest bet is not to change destination folder and install Compusor 3D into Compusor into C slash Compusor 3D directory. I do not recommend that you install Compusor into program files. This will most likely cause problems on Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows Vista. All right, click next, um, install, and we get a warning saying that Compusor found existing installation and it suggests that you uninstall it. I we agree with this and we click yes. Of course you have to make sure that you uninstall uh, that you copy all the uh, files that you might have put into Compusor 3D directory so that you don't lose them. Okay the uninstaller is finished. Uninstall was successful now the actual installation begins. Okay, a few more seconds, and you will have Compusor 3D on your, direct, uh, on your computer. So now I'm going to show you how to run Compusor 3D. The, the, my favorite way and most recommended way is to run it from command line. So this is how you run it from command line. You go to uh, Start menu. You go to All Programs, Accessories, and you open command prompt. Uh, it's a good idea to put command prompt also on the desktop, so right click on it first and choose send to desktop. This will create a shortcut. In my case this shortcut is already created. So I open command prompt or Windows terminal if you will and I go to the installation directory for Compusor 3D and this directory is called of course C column backslash Compusor 3D. Uh, okay, here it is. And while I'm in this directory, all I have to do to run Compusor is to type Compusor 3D, Compusor 3D dot BAT. And there we go. So right now we have Compusor installed on our machines, it's ready to run, so let's choose first simulation. We go to file, open simulation, file, and we will be looking for files with .cc3d extension. So we go to local disk, uh, Compusor 3D, demos, models, Compusor, so we, and we pick cellsort 2 d underscore and cell sort underscore 2d dot cc3d project file. We open it, we run it, and we should get a picture like this. Alright, 
So uh, that's about it when it comes to installing Calpis on Windows. It was pretty easy as you see. And uh, one thing I want to show you while we're on it is I'm going to open configuration options for the player. So uh, there are a few things that are worth uh, setting up here. First of all, make sure that the update screen uh, uh, value is set to at least 10 or 100. If you set it to 1, then every single Monte Carlo step you will get, uh, the, the player will display image of the simulation. And this, this, will, be, uh, this will slow down your simulations. Also here, you can, uh, in the project location uh, line, you can specify the directory in which uh, you have um, your demos. So, in my case, the demos are in program files on D drive ps underscore demos. Uh, it's a different file than the C CompuServe 3D directory, so I'm going to change it to uh, to the directory that came with CompuServe, select folder, and, and that's about it, yes. So uh, next time I I open a file, uh, I open the, I try to open simulation file from uh, CompuServe menu, as you can see, uh, the CompuServe will automatically go to the file uh, to the folder that I specified uh, on the previous screen. So this will save you a few clicks. All right, and that's it for now. Uh, I'll see you later with subsequent tutorials. Thanks.